personal relationship with God. If there's any phrase I think a lot of Catholics struggle with, it's a personal relationship with God or a personal relationship with Jesus. And I think that's the case because to a lot of Catholic ears, it just doesn't sound very Catholic. It sounds Protestant to a lot of folks. And that's a shame because it's a very Catholic phrase. We'll get to that in a minute. But first, let's talk about this relationship thing. You know, when I started to fall in love with my wife, it was a choice I made to love her, to choose her. And she in turn chose me back. And with God, it's kind of similar. God always chooses us first. And then it's our response, our choice to love him back. And just like in a marriage, it takes two parties that have to choose one another in order to seal that relationship. So God waits for our choice. And that's what this personal relationship is all about. It's about a choice that we choose, not just one time though, again and again and again, to say, I love you, God. I believe in you, God. I hope in you, God. And in your son, Jesus Christ. You see, it's not not enough to just know about. God or to know about Jesus. You have to choose him. And it's not enough just to feel good about Jesus because that's just an emotional thing. And we don't want just intellectual or emotional things. We want a choice of everything because you can't accidentally love somebody and you can't accidentally love God. You can't accidentally believe in God and you can't accidentally hope in God. So that's what this personal relationship is all about, our response and choice to him. And, and it is a Catholic thing. And our our popes and our history of our church have talked about this, and the councils of the church and the saints of the church. And I want to give you a couple of quotes. Here's one from Pope Francis. It says, Being a Christian means having a living relationship with the person of Jesus. It means putting on Christ, being conformed to him. And then John Paul II said, It is necessary to awaken again in believers a full relationship with Christ, mankind's only Savior. And finally, Pope Benedict, he said, Christian faith is not only a matter of believing that certain things are true, that intellectual stuff, but above all, a personal relationship with Jesus Christ. You see, that's what it means. It's a personal choice. And so how do we make this? We make it every day when we we choose to pray, when we choose to go to Mass, when we go to confession, when we read the Bible, when we choose to act virtuously, when we serve the poor, when we perform an act of mercy or kindness, when we share our faith with others. Because that's a reflection of what it means to personally love God, is to live this out in the choices we make day to day. Joshua in the Old Testament says this, Choose this day whom you will serve. As for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. Make that choice today. Make Jesus a personal part of your life and have that personal relationship with him in the choices you make today.